Mama Lucy, is that somebody at the door? I think I hear someone at the door. Let's see. Oh, Jerry, honey, how are you? I am good. How are you? you made it to Alaska. I did. Thank you so much for is it all the beautiful. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. It Come gorgeous, on in. Gorgeous. Now, you made it to Alaska. Can I talk in to help me cook? Oh, you most certainly can. Let's talk about homework a little bit, and then we're going to cook. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All righty. Okay. Well, Jerry, I suckered you into coming to Alaska. You certainly And now did. you're going to help me do some cooking. Awesome. And let me tell you something, honey. Before you got here, I unpacked green tomatoes that we brought from North Carolina. Wow. So I think later we're gonna fry some green tomatoes. Good. We also brought Savannah cinnamon products and we're gonna make some cider because it's cool enough for a fire in the fireplace. And it's cool Wonderful. enough because Homer, Alaska has perfect humidity. Yes. Great temperatures. It was yes. 59 this morning. Yes. We had a fire, and you know the only one of us that bothered was Mama Lucy. I think she had a hot flash <laughs> on me. But this cabin is awesome, and it has a fireplace. It has windows with a view of what? Oh, uh, the beautiful bay and the mountains are absolutely gorgeous. It, That's right. You can see glaciers all around. That's right. Now, have you fished the bay yet? Did you get a chance I have to not, do that? No. Okay. I have not yet. Okay. But now you caught what kind of salmon? I caught uh, silver salmon okay. on the Kenai and in the bay at Seward. And, and the season for salmon berries, I know when I was here earlier, it was kings. Right. And then after that, you have the sockeye run. Mm -hmm. And the sockeyes actually came in late. There were a lot of them in the Kenai. Uh, so I was catching sockeye along with the silvers that, uh, uh -huh. that were And moving. is that what we're going to do today to make salmon patties? That is exactly right. We're doing okay. silvers. good. Now, I did halibut when we were here last time, and then we took a lot of halibut back to Georgia. And we've done about five different halibut recipes that people have written in and loved. So um, I even have folks eating fish that didn't like fish. So, really? And I oh, think now's yeah. not a great time for the halibut. I'm not sure, but yeah, I don't think it's... Yeah, it's kind a, of on the, on the tail end of the season. Right, before, right. But let me tell you, the tail end is the best time to come to Alaska. It is. We had no traffic last night. Right. We got in at 4 o'clock this morning, and that's why these little eyes look a little tired and a little <laughs> bloodshot. I've had zero sleep. I've actually been up 34 hours now. Wow. Am I doing good for that? You are awesome. It's because of the beauty. Yes. It's it because is. of the beauty outside the windows. Um, this cabin belongs to Brian Zach, and we've been staying here for about nine years. This cabin's brand new. That's so um, we were here while he was building it, and I kept saying, Brian, honey, hurry up and finish it. I want to do a heart of the home there. It's perfect. It is. It's, absolutely it's perfect. Gorgeous. It's perfect. And this is the kind of place you can bring your family, oh, and yes. actually, nine people can sleep comfortably right. here. Or one can be like me and sit up and watch the sunrise. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did this morning. It was awesome. It yeah. was awesome. So right, Rightfully so. Right. And this is um, normally, it's hot in Georgia. It was 93 when we left home. Oh, Lord. Did you think we'd see glaciers and snow-capped mountains when we got here? I, I didn't know what to anticipate. Uh, I, I just came with an open mind, and I love it. It's you absolutely love it. gorgeous. You love it. Now, I'm ready to come here more often you know i only come once or twice a year and now i would love to come about four times a year i'd love to see this during every season yeah. i've never been here in the winter and i'm not a winter baby so i don't know how much i'd like the winter but but nicholas wants to see the iditarod so right. i'd love to do that right. i think that's in february maybe uh yes february march so you bring nicholas and i can stay in georgia <laughs> <laughs> that's a good plan jerry i'm glad you came up with that idea yeah. Now, today, you and I together have shared things that people only dream about. And, and I hear so many folks say, I want to go to Alaska, but I just haven't. Do it, guys. Do it. Do it. Yes. Do it. Take the time. Uh, set aside whatever you need to do. That's right. Get up here. See Alaska. That's right. Homer, uh, Seward, all of them right. are beautiful. And nothing more beautiful than where the Kenai and the Russian River meet. Absolutely. 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 When we left here in June, my child was like, Mama, please stop crying. I could not stop crying because I hated to leave it. It is such a beautiful sight. I can understand. And, and when, when you go back and you tell people, you just can't imagine what the Kenai River looks like, they think you're crazy. Right. But is it turquoise? It, it is. It's a beautiful uh, turquoise green mm -hmm. and uh, just, it's just like, you know, spellbinding. It is. I mean, and that's what I, to I told somebody. I said, I could spend the rest of my life sitting there staring at that water. And they said, no, no, no. You would get bored. I don't think so. No, the, the scenic beauty of the mountains, mm -hmm. um, when you turn around from the river and look up and see the mountains. And, Absolutely. And you've got 
mountain sheep and, and goat. Right. You can see them up on the mountains right. and then snow. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's well, absolutely beautiful. Last night on the way in, I called Brian and told him we were almost here. And he said, watch out for moose because they'd had a lot of roadkill. Well, you know, it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm so sleepy, I'm about to pass out. And a little rabbit ran out in front of us. <laughs> and I said, that's not a moose, that's a rabbit. But um, dead tired when we got here, but we were revitalized immediately because the, the beauty, you can't wait to share every minute of it. And this morning, did I show you an eagle? Oh, you most certainly did. I oh, think. my, I've never been that close to an eagle. I have I have never been that close well, to an what, eagle. 20 yards, maybe? Oh, awesome. Awesome. I hope the pictures turn out good. You took some and I, I took, took some. some. Yep. And uh, I hope they turn out good. And, and it's the kind of thing, you know, I've got an eagle on my shirt today. They can't see it from my apron, but it, it's our national symbol. Yes. And, and it is, Alaska has really taken care of the eagle population and, and, and hands off to these people because it really is great. Yep. It, it is wonderful. And uh, the one we saw today was kind of chilling, wasn't he? Yeah, he was just sitting on the We couch, walked up and we're around. taking pictures and he's just kind of sitting there. And I thought, man, he likes us. Yeah. <laughs> he liked us. We took a lot of pictures of him. And the eagles, is there a season when the eagles are more... I don't I, know. I don't know. Um, I do know that eagles are... A lot of people think that eagles are not scavengers, but they do scavenge, and that uh, you will get a lot when the salmon start running. Mm -hmm. They will be close in where the salmons are right. coming. And, you know, over at the spit where they do fish and they clean the fish, I'm sure that's what attracts the eagles right. there, too. And the beauty. Maybe the eagles just want to see the beautiful places. <laughs> yeah, that Probably may be so. It. And speaking of beauty, now, at breakfast this morning, did we have a beautiful view? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful gorgeous. Beautiful view. Beautiful view. And it was at Land's End Restaurant, and we'd like... We want to thank them because we've yep. shared some of their recipes with our viewers before, and uh, I think folks like that recipe. A little yep. pricey because the the crab meat was a little bit expensive. Right. We bought it in Georgia, right. and it cost a little more, bit more than we wanted it to, but it was awesome recipe, right. and we enjoyed our breakfast there. So, now Jerry and I are going to come back, and we're going to use a salmon you caught. Yes. And we're going to make salmon patties, and we're going to do some black eyed peas because that's a southern thing. We're going to bring the south. North? north? Alaska's the north, isn't it? It's a little north. Northern exposure, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, we're going to combine the two today, and I hope y'all will come back and enjoy what Jerry and I are about to do for you. We're going to share a little bit more of Alaska with you. Hang around. We'll be right back. I'm Sherry Martin. Welcome back to Jerry Ballou and I in the kitchen. Now we're in the kitchen in Homer, Alaska, and we told you earlier this is my favorite place to be. And now my favorite. And place. becoming your Beautiful. favorite place. When I told you about Alaska, you I, weren't sure you I could trust sure. me. Oh, you can trust me. I can trust you. <laughs> you it, can trust it, me. Everything and more that you can. Absolutely. Said. And yes. I trusted you to bring me a salmon and today. I did. Yes. You did. Now we baked this for about Ten minutes? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. And now we've taken it, um, basically we flaked it, haven't we? Yes, we have. And to this we're going to add ketchup, onions, eggs, cornmeal, and a little bit of Mayfield milk. Yes, ma'am. So let's put this together. All right. And remember, JS's favorite meal was black-eyed peas, cream corn, coleslaw, and salmon patties. Super. But he never had fresh salmon patties. So oh, we're doing this in memory of him. Yes. This is going to be fun. Okay. Go ahead and add your eggs. Okay. I'll put your onions in. Thank you. And we did use sweet onions. I like the taste of the sweet onions. And we, we used a lot of onions. We put half a cup of onions. Okay. So now we're going to put ketchup. All righty. And woo, I've ruined a lot of good steaks, but this makes salmon patties better. Yes, it does. Now, Jerry, I'm going to add some cornmeal. And y'all know I don't measure, but I can tell you right there, it's about three-fourths of a cup, and we're going to see how that works. We may okay. add a little bit more. Okay. okay. Now put me about half a cup of Mayfield milk in there. All right. And guys, once again, the Mayfield milk traveled with us on the plane. You know folks may think we're crazy, <laughs> but we travel with Mayfield milk. No, we're crazy. No, we're crazy. <laughs> we're crazy, but we have a great time doing we this. We certainly do. Now, now, you caught a couple of salmon. 
yesterday on the Kenai. And, mm -hmm. uh, Which is my favorite place in the whole wide world. Oh, that is beautiful. The most, it is God made that gorgeous. for me. God yes. ordered that for me. And I just let y'all visit there. So. <laughs> well, thank you I think we need a little so bit much. more meal. Okay. So we're probably up to about a cup of cornmeal. Okay. Looking good. How much did that salmon weigh? That one was right at 13 pounds. Wow. The biggest one Nick caught was a nine pounder. Sure, we've got a little Oh, bone. honey, we missed a bone. Could we be fired? <gasps> or tarred and feathered, I don't know which. Okay, I think a little bit more milk. Yep. A little bit more meal. We're getting there. That was a lot of meat. It was a lot. That was a lot of meat. And that was actually just half Oh yeah. Of a fillet. It wasn't the whole right? whole fillet. Tomorrow you're going to make us a dip, aren't you? Yes, yeah. we're going to be making a, a cream cheese and salmon dip tomorrow right? with garlic. That's going to be great. Wonderful. Garlicky. And we learned in Alaska, we don't have to shave. We don't have to do our <laughs> hair. We don't even have to wear makeup because we're all fishing. We all smell like fish and we love it. We love it. And who cares? It's such a cool, relaxing place. This what is, I think we should name Alaska Chilling Time. There. Right. Alaska is definitely chilling time now. Maybe a little bit more milk. Okay. You know, isn't it pitiful that these folks don't know about Mayfield milk? It is. Do you feel bad? They could come to the Heart south. Of Tennessee, yes. Yes, they could come to the south. Now we are using butter flavored Crisco. Let me look in there. Yeah, uh, let's let's test one of those and see okay. how that's gonna go. I think that's gonna be okay. Let's try that okay. and see. And what we're going to do is we're going to brown them, then we're going to wrap them in foil because as the afternoon goes by, we're going to have folks stopping by and we're going to have some black-eyed peas, some Yum. salmon patties, fresh yeah. green beans we brought from Darnell Farms up in Bryson City, North Carolina, some corn that we brought from there, and what about some fried green tomatoes? Ooh, that sounds wonderful. I think that sounds good. And do you know, um, also, while we're here visiting Alaska, we're going to do a recipe a guy on the plane gave me. It's halibut Olympia, and we're going to use wow. ma um, blue plate mayonnaise and sour cream with that one. Another ingredient we brought. Yeah. So Sounds I think this is going to be cool. Now, the salmon is just bubbling, and it's going to take just a couple of minutes to cook. We're going to turn it, and then we'll wrap it in foil and keep it warm until our guests arrive. Super. And this is going to make probably what? You think about 24? Uh, yes, at least. And, and <clears throat> dirt cheap. Dirt. Didn't cost you but $7,000 to get here. That's it. You know? <laughs> That's okay. Did you fly first class? I did not. I, I can coach, but you did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Honey, go your first, first class, class. your airs well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Believe me. Your first class all the way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this has been a great trip. We ordered 60-degree weather. We got it. Yes. We ordered cool. We got it. We ordered sunshine. We almost got it. Yeah. So, it's God is perfect. good to us. It, God is good to us. It certainly is. Absolutely. Now, this looks okay. great. And it's not going to take long to brown it. And I did. I like the taste of the butter flavored Crisco. Yes. Uh, I found that when uh, using butter flavored, flavored Crisco, it always, uh, it does add that A little flavor. bit richer. Yeah. 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 A little bit richer. Have any more calories? <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't That's matter. okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Now, when we do the halibut, have you caught any halibut yet? Not yet. I well, Brian Zach so. left us some in the refrigerator. Super. When we got here, I think Brian, he may have just gone in there and snatched that thing up out of the inlet. But <laughs> we have halibut for tomorrow, so we've been yeah. very blessed um, with meeting people here yes. and people helping us to do what yep. we do. So um, this is going to be really cool. And now you get to stay longer than I do. I'm jealous. Well... You're going home next Thursday? Yes. Yeah. Thursday. Wow. Wow. And I said when we decide to do Alaska, this is my gift to our viewers. So many people have said, I'd love to go to Alaska, but I can't. I want you to enjoy Alaska. Okay. And I want you to, when you go back, you share your story with people. I certainly and, will. And we'll let folks know that this is truly one of the most beautiful places in the world. Yes, it is. It really is. And, and it's the kind of place, now I come here often because I'm hooked on Alaska. You're hooked on fishing. I'm hooked on Alaska too. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, will definitely yeah. be back. Could we get a job with the tourism committee? I think so. I think we could. Do you, what do you think it'd pay? Who Enough cares? to fly first <laughs> class? <laughs> now guys, Jerry and I are gonna be cooking up our salmon and when you come back, we're gonna talk to you a little bit more about Alaska. 
and we're going to share some more recipes with you. And we truly are going to give you some ideas on how you can do a trip to Alaska because everybody can do that. Yes. And it's the kind of trip, don't just plan your life, live your life. Sure. And live your life in Alaska. Homer, Alaska, actually. Yes. Or the Kenai. Or the Kenai. Or Seward. Or Seward. Or Soldotna. So we're going to give you some ideas when we come back, guys. Hang around now. folks, Jerry and I are back, and we're enjoying the most awesome view in the world. We are. We're cooking salmon patties. Yes. We're smelling the fresh salmon. We're so enjoying good. that. Yes. But the view. Is oh, this absolutely to die for? To die for. To it die is, for. It is now, you know, I have a picture in my living room of the Kenai River that I took on JS and I the first trip he ever brought me up here. And I sit and stare at that and think, oh my gosh, it was perfect. It was perfect. The day was perfect. The time was perfect. I have a picture of Mount McKinley that he took me to see McKinley. And when I was in the fifth grade, I did a book report about Mount McKinley. Wow. And when he took me there, I was so excited and I was so happy. And I just, I have some great photography. And that's one of the things about Alaska. What an awesome place for photographers. It is. Um, you get off the airplane and from the point, from there to start to finish, mm -hmm. uh, everywhere you turn, there's a it's a picture. That's right. There's it's something to photograph. Gorgeous. And you know, around here, um, Brian has some wildflowers planted, and Very and uh, we were talking earlier about there's rhubarb around, and I understand there's a farmer's market in Homer yes. where you can buy fresh um, things that are grown here. And you know, that's kind of like we do at home. We yes. have a farmer's market. So the people here are not unlike us. And no. some of them, um, I guess, left wherever they were and came here for a fresh start. Some were born here. I've met very few people that were born here. But isn't it awesome to be able to come here? It is. It's wonderful. It's uh, just an opportunity that everyone should take advantage of if they get the, the chance. Right. By all right. means, come Do to it. Alaska. Do it. Now, now you and I have got our salmon patties cooking, yes. and we, while magic television, we looked our black-eyed peas. We yes. cooked them fast in a crock pot. Yes. And we're going to have black-eyed peas. We're going to have some corn and some salmon mm -hmm. patties. And you're going to hang around for a few days, and you're going to help me with another right. segment. And we really are going to share some more of Alaska. Yes. And, and the things that the berries, I think Brian Zach has gone to get right. us some berries. And we just, there's so much here to enjoy. There is. It's, from, it's... from the nature and the bears, the bears. I did see a bear <laughs> coming out of Hatcher's Pass a couple of trips ago. Awesome. And, and one of the guys we were visiting with said, you saw something. People, I saw a bear scooping up a salmon and just beautiful. beautiful. I saw one uh, on Monday. Did you? Uh, surprised me. I... Uh, Surprised you like I'm going to run, surprised you? <laughs> right. I was in the stream and uh, looked upstream, and here's about a 400-pound grizzly in the stream. Oh, my gosh. Just outside of Seward. You're kidding. And I... Did you had, get a picture? I had no camera and oh, no gun. No. <laughs> but you had two feet with tennis shoes you could run? <laughs> I got out of there quickly, yes. That's right. That's right. Well, Alaska is a place you don't want to get out of quickly. I never get to stay very long. Usually four to five days is my limit. That's that's one of the things that's tough. I come the end of the week and the beginning of the next week. And I never take a whole week off from work. But folks, if you can, a 10-day vacation here would be good, wouldn't it? It would yeah. be. Uh, I've, I'll be here uh, 10 days. Yeah, you're lucky. And uh, it's not enough time to see... No, I, no. I've just segmented it down to a right. small portion. You won't get to go to Denali, will you? No, I will no, not. No, no. Will and not and see, it's like Hatcher's Pass. J.S. went to Hatcher's Pass with Nicholas, and then later, after he passed away, I took Nicholas there. And 27-mile uh, dirt road, most beautiful scenery in the world. Yes. And that's where we saw the bear and the salmon and... Um, Oh, man, it was something else. Yeah. And it was one of those things. Have you ever had a camera that had a 500-picture disc and your child took 488 pictures of a little chipmunk in Hatcher's Pass? <laughs> then when we get down to the bear and the salmon and he's scooping it up and I'm shooting and the camera has no pictures left on it. So I got one picture of that bear and salmon. Wow. But, but it is a place... When you come to Alaska, bring lots of little discs for your pictures. That's one thing I found. I uh, 
I came up with 200 thinking that that was. Oh, no, dear, honey, I brought I a thousand. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> And I'm, I'm we at took 600. In the first week. Yeah, we took yeah. 680 pictures in June, mm. and uh, awesome pictures. Yes. Awesome pictures. Everywhere and the kind of thing you want to share. Yeah. And you know, guys, that's why I decided to do some shows in Alaska. I have talked to so many folks who want to come here and haven't been able to. So I want to share Alaska with you, and I want to share the beauty, and I want to share the people. And when we close today, I'm going to have some folks that we kind of rounded up our local grocery store. We're going to end, and we're all going to say goodbye to you, but we're going to welcome you to Alaska. So, guys, in just a second, we're going to be saying goodbye, but then we'll be back again, won't we? Oh, most We'll certainly. be back again. Yes, ma'am. I promise you we will. Folks, I promise you, when you come to Alaska, you will reap the bounty of God's blessings with fish, with caribou, and with friends. And we went to the grocery store and we rounded up a couple of friends, Michael and Darcy. We stopped. They were looking at cake mixes. And I said, I want to talk to them. <laughs> I brought them home with me. So we have learned that Alaska is a beautiful place, a friendly place. Now, y'all are from Ohio, mm -hmm. right? Cincinnati. Right? Yeah, yeah, so you're Yankees. Now, see, if you watch the show often, you'll know I make friends with everybody. So this has been such a great day and such a great trip, and I really do want y'all to share Alaska. I want you to watch. You can check our website out. Remember, www.heartofthehomerecipes.com. We'll have our videos from Alaska on. We'll have some great photography, and we will continue sharing Alaska with you. This is my gift to everybody because in November, it's kind of a Thanksgiving time and the weather gets a little bit dreary, but it's a time to look around and say, man, God is good because this is a wonderful place that God provided for all of us. I want you to sit back, relax, listen to some gospel music some days, reflect on our pictures, and plan a trip for yourselves and your family. And when you come by, if you go to Homer and go to Safeway, meet some nice people like I met. All you have to do is stop and talk to them because the folks here are so friendly. And, and Alaska kind of is a place that says, welcome. Welcome to Alaska. And the people, too. Yeah, and it's like Brian, Zach, we've been staying with him for nine years now. And he's like family, you yeah. know. So, so when you do come to Alaska, open your heart and open your mind and experience everything that God's provided for you. And stay in a great cabin like we've got and cook because you can invite friends in and you can share your ideas and your recipes. Remember, that's what we do. Simple, simple recipes. And today, simple recipes with some great scenery. Now, guys, we're going to hang around Alaska a couple more days. We'll do some more segments. Look, we're in Alaska, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. This old life is old, narrow, narrow by. Oh, Soon I know I'm going home. I'm going there. I'll see my Savior on His throne. Yes, then I see Jesus. I'll be so happy there. Never more to roam. No, never more to roam. Oh, no, 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 no,
Jordan. You're the last old river that I've got to span. Grace and Hanson in the 